before I stop this recording session, I wanted to go, if I can find it, <laughs> I wanted to go find, not there, although I do want to go there. Uh, oops. I'm sorry, Mr. Barrier. Um, was it this place? No, I don't. No, 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 no. It was. It was the place that looked like a petrol station. Where is that place? No, this is where I just was. Um, what was that place? Is it? It's the place with the chocobo tracks. Maybe they're snowboarding as well. Um. That that must be the love place in the in the air that I have to go to in the air. There's the barrier again. Oh, here it is. I want to take a look at this place. First. Can we just can we not walk in there, Rosemary? Fun city. Welcome to Nettie and Fun House. Do you want to buy a ticket? Absolutely. The cost is 75 fold per person times 8 per person for a total of 600 fold. Sure, that's fine. Thank you very much. Please go in from the entrance to the left. Remember that your ticket will no longer be valid once you leave the park. I see that you've already purchased a ticket. Please go in from the entrance to the left. Remember that your ticket will no longer be valid. Okay. Spend your spare time here. Oh, I will. Welcome to Nettie Funhouse. May I see your ticket? Tickets. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy your visit. This music. Oh. Oh. No, I don't want to leave. No, 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 no. Where am I? Oh, I'm down there. Okay. Oh, I see balloons. This atmosphere, it's just perfect as a date spot. Oops. My wish has come true. I finally managed to come here with my girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, is he like going? Yeah. I'm hungry. The world is full of dark talk, but Fun City is a diversion. Yes, it is. Please put garbage in the garbage can and recyclables in the recycle bin. In the what? The recycle bin? What is this thing you speak of? That one! I want to ride on that one! Don't run so much or you'll fall down. Wait! There's no need to hurry. I talk to all those people and then I will go do things. Let's see. Anyway, if we go to the information centre it won't be a problem. Well, it won't be a problem. Today the three of us are going out. Excuse me. Let's trash the really scary ones. Excuse me? You want to trash them? Does that mean something that I don't understand? I'm confused. Let's go here. Oh, it's the info place. All right. Come here if you wish to make an announcement regarding lost children. Has a child been lost? No. I already... Okay, I thought I talked to this person. Apparently I didn't. This is the information center. Yes. Right now, for a limited time, we are holding an exhibition in scale of fanzines and amateur comic books. Please come and take a look. So, the information center tells me nothing. That's great. There's a map that I can't look at. Okay, good. So far, this is going very well. This place is always listed in the magazines as a date spot. But you know what? There aren't very many other date spots. Welcome, perhaps you would like to relax with one of our specialty cocktails. What I really want to do is see a cabaret show. This is a play spot for adults, please enjoy yourself. A play spot. A play spot? That's interesting. Let's go here. Let's go here. Welcome, how about a souvenir? Oh. 
handy kitchen knife that cuts all cooking ingredients and increases the chances of success in the Master Chef competition. The what now? I'm taking that. Ooh, and that. Crown? An emerald studded crown that just might protect its wearer. Uh, no. Ooh, evening dress. Beautiful and elegant woman's evening wear. I, I'm assuming I'm gonna need this for something. Like for a, uh, for something. Oops. Um. For, uh. <laughs> um. For a quest or something. Sure, why not? I'll buy this. Thank you very much. Please come again. You're welcome. You're so polite. To get an NFID, it seems you have to have some sort of connection. Excuse me? The sword, is it real or fake? Oh, but I can't resist this key holder here. This pennant over here is pretty attractive too. A pennant? Do you mean pendant? Or is pennant a thing? If it is, I'm embarrassed. Welcome, please take a menu. <gasps> I'm hungry. Yeah, I can't afford that. Ooh. Oh, it sounds so good. I want this in my life, please. Orange aid. That's funny. Chicken skewers. Speaking of food, Nada was trying to eat mine. Uh, oh, strawberry mochi. <laughs> okay, no, I can't have any of this. Sorry. Come again. Mm -hmm. They have everything. Japanese, Western, and Chinese food. <laughs> yes, they do. Ah, I want to eat that. Yeah, I know. I want all the things, please, in real life. I want them right now. <laughs> Let's go to this one. So far, this place is not very fun. The room costs 54 per person. For a total of 404 for a room, will you take the room? No, thank you. Come back again. Oh, I will. This is like the most expensive place in the whole world. Um, you are. Can I have that thing in my life, please? That bunny thing? Hurrah, hurrah, ladies and gentlemen, get your tips. Hey, uh. <laughs> uh. What? Uh, oh, sure. Alrighty, only gonna tell you once, so listen careful. Of course, you got your speed in the bunny race, but there's another factor stamina. Yep, stamina. Now there's stamina, and then there's stamina. Check him out at the paddock. A bunny will run real fast and that'll use up his stamina. Another bunny will run slow, won't make good use of his stamina. When a bunny's stamina runs out, the bunny stops running. It's a hard one to read and then there's personality. You got your short fusses, you got your unpredictables, your time takers and your air kids. But don't think just cause you got your bunny's personality figured he's gonna run that way. That's what's different between me and you. I got an eye for this kind of thing. Then you got your super bunny phenomenon. That's when a bunny will just take off like a shot for no reason. You can figure. For no reason, you can figure. And your super bunny's fast alright, but he burns up stamina like a prairie fire. Now that you got some background, your tip is two to three. Now, this is just a tip, mind you. Don't come back scrolling to me if it don't turn out that way. Yes. <laughs> I'm going over here now. Hmm, having a good time in Fun City? Welcome to the bunny race. Do you need an explanation? Yes, please. One that was different to what that guy gave me. Four bunnies will race twice around the track. You choose which of the bunnies will place first and second. The bunny race is being held continuously in the racetrack so you can play any time! Just buy your ticket from the bunny mannequin at the entrance. You can also check out the bunnies before the race at the paddock. So play the bunnies and win yourself some exciting times. I mean, ex exciting times. <laughs> exciting items. So this whole place is pretty much the gold saucer. That's awesome. Welcome, this is the bunny race 
reception counter. Choose the winner of the race and you'll receive item after item if you decide to play into the racetrack to the right. It's interesting though because this game is made by NX and Final Fantasy VII was made by Square. So did they steal each other's ideas? Because <laughs> that is pretty funny. Although this this came after... I think this, this came after Final Fantasy VII. But uh, that's still pretty funny. Oh! Hi there, hi there. Buy tickets, buy tickets. Tickets cost a thousand full fold. You can buy up to eight, up to eight. Oh, I bought a tip. Uh, I see. How many do you want? Do you want? None. Give me a break, give me a break. Mm -hmm. Buy tickets, buy tickets. I wanted to look at the paddock. How do I look at the paddock? Where's this paddock? Where is this paddock? Whatever. Whatever, I'll choose two and three. <clears throat> oh, wait, uh, I want... One, I guess. Thank you, thank you. The entrance is to the right, to the right. Why would I... What's the matter? What's the matter? How cute! I want one at home. Oh. Yeah, me too. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the spring G1 race is about to begin. The stables are always in tip-top shape, but the bunnies are in top form as well. This is Willie Make It, your sportscaster, with commentary from bunny expert Billy Dunt. It's a pleasure to be here, Will. Pleasure is ours, here, is ours here at International Fun City Bunny tra Racetrack. How about a look at the bunnies? Yes, please. Number one is Pink Bunny. Now this is a bunny with speed. This bunny seems to have quite good stamina. I would say he's a good bet. Says, says here Bunny 1 is unpredictable. True, it's very hard to tell about this bunny. I want these bunnies in my life. Look that little one down the bottom. I want that in my life. And number two is Green Bunny. Now this is a bunny with speed. Doesn't seem to have much stamina. Notice a sad look on the bunny's face. Says here Bunny 2 has a short fuse. You might just take off for no reason. Maybe waste stamina. Well, why would I want two and three then? <sighs> With the yellow bunny as number three, not fast but not slow, is the verdict on this bunny. Doesn't seem to have much stamina. Notice a sad look on the bunny's face. It says here Bunny 3 is unpredictable. True, it's very hard to tell about this bunny. Okay, uh, so far number one seems pretty good. Last but not least, Blue Bunny is number four. Sorry to say, but this bunny is a little slow. This bunny has a normal amount of stamina, and he seems to be in good condition too. Says here, Bunny 4 has a short fuse. He might just take off for no reason and maybe waste stamina. I'm gonna go with 1 and 4. Or is there more? Oh, there's only 4 bunnies. Alright. Ooh. This is... This is... <laughs> this is Chocobo Racing. <laughs> oh my god, I want 5 50,000 fall. One in four and he gives me Cinderella glass, it's upsetting. I want 50,000 fall. All of these items are kind of sad, except for, or maybe magical drops, that sounds interesting. Hmm, I go with one in four. One. Four. Yeah. Come on, one four. <laughs> Come on, one and four. Come on, one and four. I don't know how many laps I have to do. Oh, what? Two and four? The winner is number two, Green Bunny, and in second place, number four, Blue Bunny. What a race, amazing. 
The race results were two to four, truly amazing. Oh well, there's always next time. I don't know what I would have gotten with two and four. Yeah, that's upsetting. <laughs> oh well. That was exciting. Oh man, that brought back oh. so many memories of Final Fantasy Seven. What is this? This looks like Final Fantasy Ten all of a sudden. Old man, this isn't a restaurant. I think I'll have them make me something to eat here. What? Okay. Master cooking. Okay, there's nothing over here. Welcome to Cooking Master! Register here for participation. Please pay an entry fee of a thousand fold to participate. Do you wish to enter the competition? Nope. Prepare to compete for your Master of Eats degree. Oh, that's very funny. Welcome to Cooking Master! Allow me to explain the game. Which explanation would you like? <sighs> None of this. Okay, I'll come back. <laughs> I will come back for this. This is exciting though. Mm. This reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. Fighting Arena. <laughs> this is Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. It's Final Fantasy VII. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Oh, I have to pay to get back in again. Oh well. Yep, I'm gonna leave. <coughs> oh, I'm leaving. Bye. Thank you very much. Please come again. Oh, I will. Alright. I'm gonna stop here because this episode's getting long. I, I was just like gonna have a quick look around, but it's like, it's the gold saucer, so. <laughs> um. I will stop here. I will save. I will see you next time. On this place, Darish and Blind, and we will probably look around that a little more um, and fail and lose a lot of money. And it would be upsetting. And then, um. And then I'll. I don't know. I'll look at that other place. And then there, I think there, there are a couple more places I want to have a look at, so... Yeah, and and then we'll continue with the story at some point, I guess. I'll see you next time on Space Irish and Plant. Bye-bye.